Hey, I hope you're doing good. It's Chris here from Six Stream Finger Picking, and in this lesson, we're learning how to play Emoji of a Wave by John Mayer. Okay, so let's start with the intro and uh, let's go over the chords for that. So first off, we've got just a straight up B chord. Okay, so a B bar chord. And then that goes to this really nice chord, which is, I'm call calling it an A major seven add nine. So what am I doing there? I'm barring the, the second fret on the top four strings. And then I'm playing the fourth fret on the, uh, fourth fret on the first string and the fourth fret on the third string. Okay, so that's your A major seven and nine chord. And then that goes to just a to an E chord. And then the last chord is an F sharp. And I really recommend playing it like this with your thumb around the back playing the second fret on the sixth and then just your F sharp chord on top of that. Because we're going to be tweaking this sus chord or this sus note here sus four note and it's much easier to do that if you're doing your thumb around the back than taking your pinky off like this all right so so that's your intro so we hold down our b all right and then what you want to do here is you're going to play the the third string and the fifth string together and then the second and the fourth and then after that play the third string so you've got okay and then the bass again and then the second string and then the fourth string so put that all together you've got Okay, so that's the pattern, and that pattern appears throughout the song a lot, so really learn it well. And you just simply do that twice on that B chord. Then, once you've got that, it goes to that A major 7 add 9, and you get... So here, start with your 3rd finger off, and play the 5th string open, and of course the 2nd fret on the 3rd string, play that you want to hammer that fourth fret on the third string okay and then play strings one and four and then the second string so that's quite tricky okay and then five three and four so you slowly and then continuing play strings two and five and then one and four and then two and then five three and four okay so so it's the same pattern it's just spread across the chords differently more or less the same picking pattern in the picking hat so so back to the B change and then to our E but we'll bring in the sus4 so what you want to do hold down the E chord and play strings 3 and 6 oh sorry just string 6 and then play strings 3 and 4 and then hammer your pinky up to the second fret on the third string okay and then play string 6 and then 1 and then four. So you've gone. Okay, then lift off that pinky back to the first fret on the third string and play strings three and six. And then two and four. And then six, three, four. 
So the second half. And put that with the first. Okay, good. And then we go on to our F sharp chord. So we clamp down, thumb around the back, hold down our F sharp, and we're going to play strings three and six, and then two and four, and then three. So, and then six, and then we make it a sus four, F sharp sus four. So we take our pinky and we bring that in directly underneath our third finger on the fourth fret, or on top of our third finger, I should say, on the fourth fret of the third string. Play that and then play the fourth string. So you've gone. Okay, then lift it straight off again and play strings three and six, two and four, and then six, three, four. Put it all together. Okay, so back to the B, nice and slow, here we go. So that was how you play the intro. The verse is exactly the same, just those four chords, they go through twice, and then you're into the next section, which is kind of a bridge linking you on, or you could call it a pre-chorus, uh, before linking onto the chorus. And that goes like... Uh, Into your, into your chorus. So this bit's a bit fiddly. So it's over an A chord, um, so I'm playing this like this. So I've got open fifth string and then seventh fret on the fourth, sixth fret on the third, second fret on the, sorry, fifth fret on the second and then open first. Just an A chord like that. And uh, so what you want to do is play the fifth string open and then play strings one and four and then three, so. And then take your first finger, push it down to the fourth fret on the second string. Play that with the open fifth string. And then open first string. And then play the fourth string. So you've gone. All right. And then play strings three and five. And then we take our pinky, put that onto the seventh fret of the second string play that with the fourth string and pull off back to the fifth on that string. So. All right, and then play strings five, three, four, two. So that's the first bar. So continuing, play string, the fifth string, and then one and four together and then three, and then we push our first finger back to the fourth fret again on the second string, play that with the fifth string, and then open first, and then fourth. So, that's exactly the same as the previous bar. And then, what you wanna do, play the fifth string and the seventh fret on the second string, play those together, and pull off that pinky back to the fifth fret. And then strings four, three, five, two, and four. So the second half there is. So that bar. So it's a bit fiddly, but you put it all together. Those two bars, they sound like this, nice and so. So then it goes down to your F sharp, hold that down and play strings three and five, sorry, three and six, then two and four, and then three, so, 
and then six, two, four. So it's just the pattern. Okay, and then three and six. And then take your pinky, put that onto the fourth fret of the second string, play that with the fourth string, and then pull off to the second fret on the second string. So. And then six. And then you play the fourth fret on the third string, and pull off, and as you pull off, you play the fourth string. It's so like. So that's a bit tricky if you're not used to that kind of thing. But then play the second string after that. So. Like that. Continuing, stay on this chord for one more bar and play string six. And then the rest of the bar is exactly the same as before. So the first time we had, we started by playing strings three and six together. This time, the only difference is we're not going to play that third string on the first beat. We'll just play string six, and then two and four, three, six, two, four, and then three and six, and then we do the pull off again. So it's exactly the same, basically. You do that bar of F sharp twice. So I, I hope that makes sense. Back to the A. F sharp. Two bars of that. It's the same thing, basically. Then we get this really great bit. Okay, so this is like a, it's an E6 chord, but we're putting the third of the chord, the G sharp, in the bass, and it goes from major to minor. Okay, but so what you're doing here, we want a bar. Um, the second fret on the second, third, and fourth string, and then have your pinky on the fourth fret of the third string, and then your third finger on the fourth fret of the sixth string. And we just do a pattern on that. So remember, the pattern in this case is strings three and six, two and four, and then three, so, and then six, two, four. That's the pattern. Do it twice on this major chord and then all you have to do is go from the third fret sorry from the fourth fret to the third fret on the sixth string and exactly the same in the picking hand so. and that's kind of your pre-chorus or your bridge so here it is once more on YouTube and you want to learn how to play the chorus just follow the links through down in the description and you'll get the rest of the lesson right away. Alright so that's it for this lesson I really hope you've enjoyed if you did please don't forget to like share subscribe and I'll see you again really soon for another great fingerstyle guitar lesson.